here's another thing that I was personally really excited about, having seen like the announcement video where they were engraving on ukuleles and things. And so um, here is the curved surface engraving. It, so here's how you do it. You go, uh, you select it as it was, you know, and typically this in XCS, it says slats flat. You can't do this in light burn yet. You do have to use X tool creative space or X C S. Uh, and then you go to uh, curve process and then click curve measure. You then get this thing and uh, I will have another video uh, that's going along with this that shows you like what happens on that side uh, with the laser. It, basically what happens is you point at, uh, you'll see on the uh, overlay what's happening here. And so you wanna, once you get close to the spoon, you want to make it very, very, very precise. You want to go to the top left and then mark that where you're happy with it um, as vertex one. It will take a picture and then you go and then you go to the bottom right. So you have both vertices or vertexes. I'm not actually 100 percent sure. Um, and then. Once you've got to the other side, you mark the other vertex. And so I tried this with a stainless steel um, like flask and it didn't work because it couldn't recognize it. So you'd obviously need to paint that a different color because the reflective surface doesn't work. But for something like wood, it's easy. So then once you've done that, you select how many rows and like uh, and columns you want. I personally want a bit more than this because I just want more detail. So I'm going to do six by six um, and then start measuring. And the, like, the downside is the more like measurements you have the longer it takes and obviously it's an exponent so six times six is a lot more than four by four um but for something curved like i'm okay with that you're not going to expect it to be hugely productive in every single avenue um and i'm okay with that so uh for, for like literally i did a test before this and it was uh, eight by eight in exactly the same way and so um it's even longer but uh, i'm not personally like super pressed for time i don't need to make 70 of these an hour and so i'm fine with that and so you'll measure it and then it will give you this 3d surface right now um you can then tweak it based on the smoothness and tension you want um i've not i've just sort of left it as is i don't claim to know more than x tools software on this but um you may want to tweak this. I don't really have much advice for this part because I've only been experimenting with curved surfaces on lightly curved things like spoons and stuff, uh, flasks and whatever, rather than anything that's really intricate and uh, everything like that. But I've just left it as is. I mean, you can smooth it out and whatever else, but um, I'm going to leave it as is for now. And then you'll be given the area that you can then put your design in, uh, which I'm going to try now and show you how it would work and print uh, your design on the spoon in question. Okay, and so I actually made this quickly on Mid Journey. It's a cat like line drawing. I can give you the prompt in the description if you want to make something similar. But as I've done in another video that you should check out on my channel, uh, Xtool actually has its own inbuilt AI text to image generator in the uh, the um, the AI X Art AI part, as you can see uh, in this left side here. Uh, so it's easy to do. Uh, you won't get the same um, flexibility, but I've created this in Mid Journey and put it in. You will have to pay like, I think it's $12 a month for Mid Journey, but I personally really like it. So. So after the first design was a bit, <laughs> a bit too much because when you do the curved surface engraving at the moment, even if you do a normal engraving, the maximum speed you can go is 30 millimeters per second. And so on the default 15% power settings on the Xtool P2, it was still a bit much and it's quite deep actually. So obviously it would look slightly better after I've washed it because it's still got the ash, you know, in there at the moment, but uh, it was still too much. So I wanted to give it a go on the other side. And so similarly curved, um, I did another cat drawing. Both of these I just quickly did on Mid Journey just to have a reference to try on curved surfaces. Um, and this one came out a lot better. This was only on 6% power and obviously you can see it's still pretty charred. Um, it's still pretty dark, uh, which I like. I prefer the contrast, but uh, this shows that with the um, curved surface engraving, even when things are um, not flat or even close, like obviously this is a more abrupt angle than the top, but. Uh, it's still in proportion, even if it is too dark and overdone with the power. And so, yeah, for the moment, if you're doing wood on these curved surfaces, 
um, I would lower the power. I use 6% rather than 15% on this because uh, that was at the 30 millimeters per second power. If you're using um, any more, you risk it sort of ending up like this. <laughs> Uh, but that one came out a lot better and so that's my experience with the curved surface it's really really cool i look forward to trying it on more violent angles in that like you know uh more than just a slight curvature i look forward to trying it in on, on like on a ukulele or something that that x sort of shown it can work on so that's it hope you enjoyed this